Welcome to the 2023 University Place City Council Candidate Video Voters Guide. Hi, my name is Stan Fleming. I am running for position six for the University Place City Council uh, for a re-election. For me, it has truly been a privilege to serve you these past four years on the City Council. Being that voice for our citizens from all walks of life, uh, for our businesses that serve as the backbone for our community as we battled our taxes and fees. For me, it has been truly an honor to serve, and I thank you for your trust. Looking ahead, we still have much work to do to engage on the issues of public safety, parks, parks maintenance, and parks programs, and to continue building on the multifamily uh, issues and uh, homes that we have in our community. I continue to oppose the state's interference with our ability to self-regulate our population density and the permitting of business creep into our, our neighborhoods. I believe we can do better in finding community resources within our county and throughout our, our communities for our homeless to keep them off the streets and safe, especially during this time in which the weather is changing. Also, I favor bringing opportunities for our businesses and communities to ensure that they thrive and succeed. Those are the things that I remain committed to. Those are the things that I have fought for for these past four years and look forward to continuing that fight as we go into the next four years. What do you view as the most important issues currently facing the city and how will you address them? The most important issues that are currently facing our, our city are multifactorial. First and foremost is public safety. When we look at traffic um, mitigation, especially speeding uh, down through our major thoroughfares, we also have and face challenges of property uh, theft and uh, automobile theft in our communities. And those are things that uh, we haven't seen in the past, but we are certainly beginning to see uh, in our city and we need to take a very aggressive uh, position against that. The citizens supported Proposition 1. I think there and believe that there is a message there that we can and will do better as we uh, realign our police force uh, and provide those services to ensure that our citizens remain safe. Bringing businesses uh, into our community is also a high priority. We've done a great job in fast foods. Now it's time to expand uh, that opportunity to bring in other restaurants within our communities. Uh, and lastly, or not lastly, but next would be our Parks and Rec program. It's what I ran on for my first four years of ensuring that we start looking at how do we bring recreation and opportunities in our parks that are just truly outstanding, not just for our youth, but for all citizens, including our adults. As I stated previously, keeping the state out of our business to self-regulate our growth and uh, population density. I believe we can do that by working with our state legislators and our state association, the Association of Washington City Cities. And if citizens hadn't noticed for the first time in the 20 to 25 years, we have tagging back in our community. I've been working and engaging our police chief to uh, identify those individuals who are destroying private and public property and to get rid of the tagging uh, and restoring some of the beauty that we have here in our communities. Those are the, what I can see as our most important issues that are facing us right now. How do you believe the city and state should work together on implementing middle housing? Well, when you look at the term middle housing, I don't believe there is such a term, but I'm going to assume for the sake of this conversation that uh, we're referring to middle income housing and affordable housing. I believe, again, that the city and our citizens that live in our communities know best in how to meet uh, the requirements of creating opportunities for affordable housing. When we look at the uh, population densities that we have for present and future, again, uh, the state and its unfunded mandates really inhibits our ability to manage that. When we look at uh, middle income housing, we need to look at what is the middle income of our families and individuals in our city, and then how to work with our developers and redevelopers in creating those housing opportunities so that we can have 
families um, who truly want to have a home in University Place and afford that home can do so. And I remain truly committed to working with our legislators, with our uh, developers, with the city uh, staff in creating those opportunities as we continue to build out the remaining areas of this city and redevelop some of the older areas uh, in our community uh, to keep it vibrant and uh, open for all citizens. What do you hope to accomplish as a city council member? There are four things that I would like to accomplish in my next uh, term as a city council member. Number one is I really want to continue to be that voice of the people against uh, growth, against uh, taxes and fees. Uh, when you think about a fee here and a tax there, over time that has a cumulative effect and it really has a hard impact on our middle income uh, families who are trying to decide, and, and especially for our retired uh, citizens also who are living on fixed incomes. They are being forced more and more to make those hard decisions of uh, do we put food on the table, uh, do we keep gas in the car so we can go to work, or do we keep a roof over our heads. And I think by working uh, collaboratively with our citizens to ensure that they have those opportunities to make those decisions and stay safe in our community. Second is to uh, continue to support programs that fund and support our parks and recreations. As I said a moment ago, those are things that I ran on uh, previously. I will continue to fight for those opportunities, not only to maintain our parks, but to enhance those opportunities for recreation so citizens can stay in our community and not be forced out to look for opportunities outside our community to have those programs. Number three is to continue support to public safety ensure that our community remains safe for all citizens. And fourth is to continue working on the quality of life issues. If you hadn't noticed, we have parks and uh, we have trails along the uh, Chambers Creek area, but we also are developing trails north and south in the city to connect it so people have an opportunity to, to really walk those trails and enjoy it. Our road crews have done a great job in our roads and enhancing them, not only for the aesthetics, but also for moving traffic uh, through there. And lastly is to encourage more local business, keeping those dollars uh, local, uh, keeping businesses thriving is, is a real focus that I have. So those are my top four priorities. The candidate will now share a brief closing statement. Again, I just want to thank all of you for this opportunity to continue serving our community and the citizens that call this great city home. As a founding mayor of this city, it has always been my goal and commitment to ensure that our community is welcoming to all citizens from all walks of life, to ensure that it's safe, and to have the opportunity to recreate and to grow and live out their lives here in our wonderful community. Our city is about its people. As electeds, we should never forget that fact. I look forward to serving you for another four years, and I do ask you for your vote. And again, my name is Stan Fleming. I'm running for position six, and thank you for this opportunity to serve. Remember, Election Day is on Tuesday, November 7th, and the deadline to drop off your ballot is 8 p.m. Thanks for watching UPTV.